Alright, so I've been noticing a lot of people don't know what automation clips are and most of them have no idea how to create an automation clip in FL Studio. So what an automation clip is, it's basically um, an automation that allows you to control a certain element or more of a sound over time. So an example would be, say you're making a rise in your song and you, you want your melody to increase in volume during the rise. So you would want it to start low at the beginning and then increase as the rise goes until when the drop comes your melody has reached its full volume so a way to do that is to use automation clips you would have one over a certain amount of bars and you would have it to start low at the beginning and then as the rise goes it would increase in volume over time so that it's perfectly synced and reaches the volume you want it to reach when the drop comes so that's a uh, use of the automation clips now automation clips are very useful in songs especially in trance songs because they give you so much more possibility so much more variation creativity and originality like you have control over everything in your song when you use automation clips so that's why they're so useful and that's why i'm making this tutorial so that you guys can learn how to create automation clips and then use them in your song so for this tutorial i'm going to use um, a melody from my latest song Maya which is this one and a chord sequence in the background to see how two elements can come together with the help of an automation clip now this is everything without the, um, the automation clip See, this sounds good together, but in a song, it won't just randomly come like that. There has to be s a sort of introduction. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to create an animation clip on the melody only, using a low-pass filter to sort of make it rise and come into harmony with uh, the chords. So, how we're going to do this is, I'm going to link the melody to the, the mixer. The way you do that is you go in your step sequencer, you right click your melody you select it then you go into your mixer you right click and link selected channels to this track now that we have linked this whatever sound is going to come from the melody is going to be into the mixer and then it's going to go out the master channel so now that we have this we can apply effects a good effect would be a free, free, free filter I'm going to go use a free free filter and set it to a low pass so this way it cuts off all the, um, the high frequencies and leaves only the lows so and this knob controls how many frequencies are cut off so let's see what this knob does to the sound <laughs> automates the filters which is a very nice effect so now what you want to do is you want to automate this in your track so that it goes from low to high over time so how you do this is you first set it low or high wherever you want you right click create automation clip and it's going to create an, an automation clip right here I'm going to put it over here like that now see since I've set it low at the beginning the knob it's going to start at low but I have complete control I can start it high middle low anywhere I want so what I want to do is, I want to make it so it starts low here and as it progresses, it's going to rise to a maximum. So this effect would give us this. Let's hear it with the chords all together. How it all comes together in like a harmonic way thanks to this automation clip. So this is basically how you make an automation clip. Now, I've noticed um, sometimes some knobs 
when you right click them nothing happens so what you want to do is say you have a, a plugin or a VST or whatever a third party plugin you go into the knob you want to automate you tweak it you just move it a little bit and then you go into tools last tweak parameters last tweaked and then you create automation clip what this is going to do is your last knob that you that you touched it's going to save it into memory and you can automate it via this so this applies to any knob that doesn't have a right click option but when it does it's easier to just right click it and create an automation clip from there now i hope this tutorial was helpful i, ho I hope that now you learn how to make an automation clip and um please subscribe for more tutorials and check out my songs and if you like them leave feedback subscribe you know it helps me a lot and um i'll try to make more of these tutorials and um yeah that's it so uh, see you guys